Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Peach Boxing West vs. Rest Fight Night. With you tonight, Isaac Savage, Glad Rap Channel, and my verbal sparring partner, the Caucasian Cannon Triple C. Hey man, how's it going? Great night for us. Yeah, it's pretty good, isn't it, mate? We've got the seagulls up in here, we've got the crowd, we've got the fans. We've got a great view. Bird's eye view, you could say. 5th of December. What do you mean by bird's eye view? Oh, oh, oh yeah. Oh, oh, seagulls, seagulls, bird's eye view, come amazing. on, mate. That's the amazing. The joke's not funny when you have to explain it. <laughs> Thanks. This is going well. No, don't quit my night job, eh? <laughs> West versus the rest. Been great matchups, been a few south pours. No stoppages yet, so... The crowd's hey, filling up. And saying that though, just because there's been no stoppages, the quality of fights oh, the has quality. been absolutely awesome. Definitely. Good work rate. Committed to conditioning. Standing and banging. Hey, and we've got the next generation up here now. Omen Azizi. Omen. I have seen this young man fight many a times. He just gets better and better. He's the current junior national champ. But TK, yeah, 57 kg, so these guys are under 60 kg. TK Tafero. Tomara Nui is going to be wanting to do his gym proud, and he's not going to be taking a step down to the next gen, Omid Azizi. Love seeing this young boy fight. He's yeah. certainly got some talent. He's going to be somebody when he grows up, and it's all being filmed here tonight by Glad Rap. Yeah, we already decided, we already focused. Last bit of composure, few instructions. Good on him too for making that switch to Peach. I think he's only been with them for a couple of years now and his experience and skill level has skyrocketed. Yeah, no, he's had the experience over, tw over 20 fights. <laughs> Round Sky. one. Sharp, that was a good shot. Both boys throwing bombs from the get-go. Moving slightly, throwing no the right hand. No feeling out process. Yeah, going for the target. So toe-to-toe. -to -toe. What's another word for it? Brawl to your fall. These boys are starting and putting scores on doors of all these punches and bunches. Good luck to the judges on this bout. Good quality. I saw TK warming up, though, and looking at his warm his hand. Not that you can even judge a, a fight on a warm-up, but... You just know he's got the skills. Yes, yeah, so different and composure. Definitely deserves to be in here with Omen. You know, you've got to put these experienced guys in, but TK take nothing away from him. Yeah, no. Certainly experienced. He's moving forward, working on his combos, landing a few, evading a few. I almost, I almost feel that Omen could actually uh, tone it down a bit and be a little bit more composed. But he just, I feel like he just wants to stand and bang, go yeah. the same style. Yeah, a bit more quality. But it's uh, when you've got an opportunity in front of you, you want to take advantage of it, and that's what he's trying to do. I bet we've all been in situations, uh, you know, whether it be on the, the, the sport field or on the ring, where what you've learned at times does go out the window. Yeah. Yeah, neither of them are, neither of them are going anywhere. Definitely working the nice way jab in. Nice there from Omid. Staying on the inside. But Speedy certainly bit into the punch at that one. Are we seeing these boys starting to run out of steam after that crazy barrage of punches? Oh, they'll probably recover pretty quick in the one minute break between rounds. So I think this is uh, three twos. And uh, they're definitely going at it. So good even matchup. Good work rate. Put the, uh, put the judges to the test. But uh, yeah, these two are just happy to be in there, mixing it up with their different repertoire of punches. Big shots here from both boys. Standing and banging just the way we love it. Fight fans will be loving this fight. The crowd's loving it. Those watching back home. Yeah, they're, they're not at, they're not stumbling back to their corners too much, so they'll be able to get some get some advice, get some suggestions to take a deep breath. The wider matter, Seagulls Rugby League Club. What a venue it is. And yeah. what a night of fights, Kendall. Yeah, no, this is great. It reminds me of the Pakarang Rugby Club. So it's really good that, yeah, normally rugby club or rugby league clubs have, um, yeah, such good venues. Bit of space, move the tables out, put the ring in. Good to go. Putting in Craig Thompson's ring in the middle. What helps too is the ring uh, being so low. Yeah. Uh, it works so much better in a room like this because we can actually see the action. It's almost 
it's kind of like a teardrop uh, viewpoint in, in a sense, it's a tiered viewing. Yeah, it'd be great to see if any of the people coming in to support the show notice, them getting a you know, better view. They either will or they won't, but it does make better viewing for yeah. boxing Watching and for us up here. Seagull's view. Coming up to round two, oh, loading up that big right hand, overhand right. So see what other punches are available. But yeah, TK working his way in. TK, just no fear as yep. he just rushes in. They're mixing it up. Body, head, uppercut. Normally coming in with like two, three, four at a time. You know, sometimes the, the ref's calling for action. There's almost too much. Yeah. Oh, there's a couple of scoring shots that snuck through there. A couple of slapping shots. But um, yeah, the work rate is great. The work rate is 1,000%. Oh, punched him away. Get out of here. The speed from moment. We have to see what uh, yeah, what shots the, the the judges are seeing to score this. Oh, Big nice. uppercut. That was great movement. He, he he threw a couple of body shots, changed angle, and then came through with that single shot as an uppercut. And look at the weight he threw behind. You know, he really plants his punches. Yeah. Nice that's a stiff jab there that's a TK. great scoring shot. That's another overhand that he, he practiced in the first punch of the second round. So, now this is a great showcase for West versus the rest on the fifth Saturday, the 5th of December. 2020, what a year it's been, but they're not caring about the year, they're caring about what they can punch in front of them. All they care about is the next few minutes. Yeah, working their way in. Hell for leather. Loving the opportunity, really, so it's great great watching grassroots boxing. Benefited so many people. And mark my words, if Omid keeps this up, he will be a champ at some stage in the future. He's only a young man. Every time I see him, he gets taller and taller. Yeah, no, he's the current national champ, so he, he's been in there before, he knows what to do, and it's about coming back to that composure to, to find the punches that are landing and then work towards landing them again. So it feels like it's going to be a tiring third round, but right now they've finished the second round. What a oh, round it oh, was. What a fight it's been so far. Last recap back to the corner. Looks like Peach is happy with that, so red corner agreeing with what he's doing. So Blue Corner gets advice, takes deep breaths, focuses on what's working. And uh, yeah, they'll be back into it soon. How could you not be happy with that though? What a performance from the young man out of the red. But TK, he's still got a lot of gas in that tank. I still feel he can potentially cause an upset in yeah. this third and final. Couple of minutes to go, so it's great to have Glad Rap Channel here filming it on the spot. Maybe all going live later on. All videos too are getting posted up pretty quick. I just saw about seven or eight fights have already been loaded. Yeah. There's going to be a few events finishing off the year, so keep you posted. Third and final now, both boys. It's throwing everything on the line, and they came out throwing hooks from the get go. It's just that, yeah, subtle step back, but then throw back forward. So bang, bang, bang. And they are certainly not afraid to throw a punch. Oh, These so boys. Digging into the body. Ref stepping in to tell them to keep his head up. So it's all, all looked after. Yeah, mixing it up with those body shots, uppercut, and then coming back to those straight punches. So they're finding what works. Oh, that was a big overhand right. He's been looking for that a couple of times, and it's starting to land. Now, working out well to double it up sometimes. Beautiful head movement there from Amit. Single punch to the body. So... Yeah, it could nice be a tough one. Cut. Tough one for the judges. Back into it. Low guard and then launches over he overhead with a right hand. Yeah, obviously spent, but you never really know if they're just putting on a show before they come back to explode. So, coming up to the end of the fight soon. They're all still throwing. It's just about changing angles. 
cre creating the opportunities and yeah, these guys are going at it. Great to see for the crowd here. Beautiful shots from both boys. Throwing it all out there. Another putting overhand. it all on the line. A couple of seconds to go. So yeah, Omid finding what works for those, those, those hooks or the straight punches. So just needs to get off the ropes, get back to the middle of the corner and then carry on that work rate. So... There they go. Both boys looking like they've earned it. They look spent, but what a fight that was. What a performance. Yeah, going back to their corners. Doing their corners proud. Showcasing their skills. I think they'll be, yeah, both teams will be happy with that. Rest versus the West. Omen Azizi out of the red corner unanimously takes that out. Unanimous. So all three judges gave it one way. One way traffic. Not always, but that was their scorecards at the end. Good stuff. 